What's up old schoolers? Welcome back to the next edition of Old School 2020. Um, I'm going to talk about old school light for night riding today and uh, you're going to love it. This is my black diamond headlamp <laughs> and uh, I use this to keep it from flopping off the helmet. I'll show you about that in a second. But here's the real creme de la creme of lights that uh, you all are going to love. It's called the Amazon Special, right there. This is what I've been riding with at night for a while now. And uh, these lights were, I think this one was like 17 bucks. And um, I wrapped some duct tape on there. And then I made a little pad for it. I had that taped on there, but when I had to change my batteries out, this takes, I don't know, I'll put, I'll put the, um, the link to this flashlight in the description. It's like 2200 lumens, six AA batteries, screws on. This thing's bomber. You could throw it across a parking lot. It would bounce. It'd probably break, let's be honest. But nonetheless, it's cool. It's old school. Um, these are Bolle straps that I have. I like bike packing, and uh, so I keep these around for lashing stuff on. So what I've done basically is um, I create a little lift right here like that. And then I take this volet strap around. I'm going to go front back to front first around here and around here. Slip it over the top of there. That bad boy just like that. Lash it semi tight to start with take my other strap bring it under here and you can see this is easy to um, take on and off <laughs> run this through here um, just adjust it a little bit this thing's kind of meant to keep the the back up so that it's pointed down um, generally it works really well the direction of pull and every or direction of the light goes well. So I just strap this thing on super tight, tighten it down here like that. Thank you, Volet. I might go forward a little bit more. Adjust this a little bit. I mean, this is old school and simple, right? And it's cheap. I think these straps were like seven or eight bucks. Um, which, shoot. I mean, I just, to be honest, I'm going to do a review, a box opening of the, um, the outbound light here. In a couple weeks um, I'm pretty pumped I mean let's be honest it's awesome right but 345 bucks for a light it's a lot man I hope it's worth it I really do once this is on here it is absolutely bomber it's not gonna shift it's not gonna jiggle i mean i tuck these straps away um that kind of thing there just like that and it works killer my button's right here this actually will adjust the beam it'll widen it out or narrow it down um works super well and it doesn't rub. I mean, it's only these straps are only connected to um, to the headset and the handlebars, and they turn. So there's no rubbing. Uh, it's super efficient. So that's kind of my main setup. And then I uh, use that headlamp on my helmet with some zip ties and tie it in, and I'm pretty much good to go. I mean, we went riding. We went riding with a bunch of people. Usually, I do a lot of riding alone. 
but uh, I went riding with a bunch of people a couple weeks ago and you know honestly they all had nice lights um, some more expensive than others but I felt like this works sufficiently so don't let lighting be an excuse for um, not getting out on the trail get some bullet straps in an Amazon light and throw some batteries in there and call it good so that's what I got for you guys it's a little bit of old school right there and I appreciate you watching. Feel free to leave some comments, subscribe, and uh, I'll put a link to Vole and um, this flashlight, but honestly, I don't think it matters which one you use. Just strap it to your handlebars and get out there. So, all right, thanks y'all. Peace out.